22-year-old father accused of sexually assaulting and killing his baby was back in court today. James Sart uh, Salt Marshal now charged with murder, among other charges. Police say the eight. That's still that he charged. He's in court today. Plus, why are you in tears, Robertus? You did that to your own child. child. And why are you after assaulting and killing your own daughter? Come on. Eight month old died inside a motel room in Inkster last week. That said the eight month old died last week at a motel. That's really sad. They say Salt Marshall changed his story several times, but doctors say the trauma is consistent with sexual abuse and head trauma. He's set to appear back in court again next week. Meanwhile, we have now learned the baby's mother has a long history of child abuse herself, and now... So the mom has a long history of child abuse too? What the hell is going on? You just do not have any more child after you what you done to you, let the eight months old. Is she trying to make money off the baby's death? Seven investigator Jim Kirchner live with this new information for us, Jim. Yes, yeah, Stephen, this mother is Zulika Marino. Police say she was with her baby and the baby's father when the baby was injured. Last week, the father had custody, and he's the one charged. We talked with his mother, the baby's grandmother. She didn't want her face shown. A child had an injury similar to my baby. There's a connection there, yep. and she was there. Zulika Marino is on the state database on parole for third-degree child abuse. That's still the season purple and uh, the ventile abuse and third degree of uh, three third degree assault and but I said that she should not have any more kids. It's until twenty twenty one, according And that's still that the supervised begin date is was March 3rd, 2016, and the supervising discharge date is March 3rd, 2021. To Aisha, she had six kids, all removed by the state, and under parole order is to have no contact with them. <laughs> That's true that you don't have any contact with all are you on the trial. I was, I hopefully they don't want see you or hear your voice or anything. It's never happened. Aisha says she believes Zulika, who is 29, manipulated her son James, who's 22. They've known each other for six years. I'm telling you that my own son is not capable of ta ha uh, taking care of this baby because he insists on having a relationship with this woman who... Look how cute the little one is. I ate most all the dress. Come on. In which he's putting her in harm's way. James called 911 from a room at the Alpine Motel last week. Police say he has not given a consistent story of what happened. Janiah had head injuries and trauma consistent with sexual abuse. Okay, why are you changing your story a lot of time? That's stupid. And no, she didn't hear her hair wire from you, set up her and killed her. Why did it say that in a video? Well, you done what you done and what you deserve too. Aisha, who doesn't want her face shown, says that is not her son. He's trying to cover up for her. You know, they have this Bonnie and Clyde type relationship. <laughs> she wants her son to tell the truth to police, even if that means the baby's mother is also charged. I say, baby, tell the truth. Just tell the truth. Tell them what happened. Don't try to cover it up for anyone. Let's get it out in the open. You're already there. You're already in trouble. This GoFundMe page has been set up to raise money for the baby's funeral, but Aisha says it's a money grab by Zulika. You're trying to gain something from your baby's death. What is that? What is that? Now that grandmother was very upset this afternoon to learn that the baby's I'd be upset too if that was my dog my grandma grand daughter too. 
remains has, have been turned over to a funeral home and into the control of Zulika. But again, she did not have legal custody of this baby when she was alive. Is that proper? Wayne County Medical Examiner will only say that they followed state statutes. They also say the autopsy is done, but get this, the cause and manner of death still not determined. Live downtown.